Alright, so here we are, and we are going to attempt solving the Burkis current problem. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to show sort of the full introductory steps. So, what we're going to be assuming is we have two points A and B, and this is at the point A comma B, and we have an x-axis here, and a y-axis here. So this is actually the positive y direction. And then we're, er, I don't know if that's a positive, but yeah, whatever. And we have the force of gravity in this direction. Now, um, so we first need to start out by finding an integral expression for our time. And in sort of the slightest notion, and by that I mean I don't want to go through all the steps, time is equal to distance divided by rate. Uh, so if we're integrating over position, say dx, then basically what happens is uh, we'll have distance, which we know distance is just one, uh, sorry, one plus and then um, y prime squared, right? And then speed, um, well speed's a little more complicated, it actually comes out from the physics, basically say that the uh, the energy is conserved, so um, so we know that one half the kinetic energy is equal to potential energy, whatever. So um, I guess really that's whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't really feel like explaining it too much in detail, but basically we can find that v squared is equal to two g y, where y is just the height. Um, and so that's our speed is is 2gy. So, you know, in, in general, I know this isn't completely valid, but distance over speed, and it turns out this is what the integral is. So this is what our time integral is, in 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 reference to x, right? So we can use the Euler-Lagrange equation to find y, which minimizes this integral. And so, like I said that would be y such that, so we basically have f, we have f minus y prime times partial of f with respect to y prime is equal to constant. Right, so, um, and then if we plug in f, we get this massive equation. Uh, so we see here when we take the partial with respect to, ah oh, damn it, the fraction's in. Uh, with respect to y prime here, so this denominator is just a constant and y prime, and we'll see that this entire expression will be over to square root of 2 gy, uh, but we know that this expression is all over 2 g the square root of 2 gy. Um, so we can actually just you know simplify things here by dividing or multiplying. I guess I don't need this fraction bar. Come on. Um, by multiplying by that, so we get c times the square root of 2gy on, on one side. So that's nice. And then now we have um, this square root, and then if we take the, if we actually compute the partial, let's see, we'll get uh, y prime over square root of 1 plus y prime getting a little bit messy. And then now we have, this is times y prime, so we actually have y prime squared here. So that's minus, and then we have this. And uh, now we can see that it's also very convenient to multiply both sides by uh, this square root, because one, that clears this entire denominator, and two, that basically gets rid of this uh, square root. So we see that this is going to be equal to this. 
and then obviously we have 1 plus y prime squared minus y prime squared so the y prime squareds go away and we're just left with 1 isn't that lovely uh, so now we can divide out by c and then square both sides uh, so we're, on the left hand side we're just gonna have another constant so I'm just gonna write c again I know I really shouldn't do that but it's just a new constant but I don't feel like adding like an enumeration to it because that would just be a pain to write especially because I suck at writing twos um, so we have a new constant and that's gonna be equal to this side squared and actually uh, we can get rid of the 2g as well uh, so we have y times y plus y prime squared is equal to a constant right on so in fact we can just uh, isolate 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 y prime in this equation and we get that y prime is equal to I don't need a square root that big c over y I'll just minus 1 so I'll just put the minus y in here so this is c minus y god if I could write it like that c minus y over y is equal to y prime so now like I mentioned in the last video we want to find some way in which our the geometry works out so that um, sine theta over square root of y is actually a constant. So if we imagine we have a tangent here, um, I'm going to extend this vertical right through here. We have theta. Uh, and so now we can see that for an in a uh, uh, kind of right and sideways, but I'm basically going to redraw this. So uh, I'm flipping this this upside down. So this triangle. Imagine we had a right triangle here. I'm looking at that, but instead we have um, this is a dy yeah this is dy and this is dx and this is theta in other words right cotangent this is equal to the cotangent of theta right dy dx is cotangent of theta well we can square both sides and we'll get I guess I didn't need to combine these fractions so I'm gonna uncombine them now we get C my C over one uh, C over Y minus 1 is equal to cotangent squared uh, but if we add 1 to both sides 1 plus cotangent squared is actually equal to cosecant squared and now uh, we see the goods right um, we can rearrange this and we'll get sine squared theta over y is equal to 1 over c and bam we've proved that this is indeed a cycloid right because this means that sine theta over square root of y is equal to some constant right because this is it'll be 1 over square root of C basically um, and I wonder 1 over C 1 over C squared yeah um, so so in fact this is this the C that we started out with uh, if, you, if you actually follow the steps um, like not an idiot then the C you start out with actually from the Euler-Lagrange equation is actually equal to sine theta over square root of y. Uh, so this entire equation was actually equal to sine theta over square root of y. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, but other than that, that's the conclusive proof. Um, 
because we now have trigonometric evidence that that y must be a cycloid curve and therefore a cycloid would be the solution to this uh, differential equation. Well, uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my other videos.